Bow! What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Kenny Chow. We back with another video, man. If you're new, you already know what to do. Be sure to go click that subscribe button right now. We have a NBA recap, man. I feel like the NBA this weekend was one of the best NBA playoffs in a very, very long time, ladies and gentlemen, man. Um, Some of the games were a couple blowouts, but a lot of the games, bro, came down to the wire. And I think this first round of play... I think this playoff in general... It's going to be the best playoff in a very, very long time that we're going to see um, as far as matchups, as far as seeding, as far as just competition, bro. It's really good. Um, so we're just going to go down all the games. I know all uh, eight games got played this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and we're just going to, you know, break it down game by game and um, give you my thoughts on it and just go from there, man. So first game we got is the Nets versus the 76ers. I thought this was a good game. I think the first half. Um, was fairly close, and then the Sixers kind of broke away from it. Um, Mikael obviously had a great game. If we go to the box score right here, um, you know, uh, hopefully this doesn't play, but um, yeah, okay. Mikael had a great game, as always. He's actually been having great games. He's like, I don't know. He, he's been scoring a lot for them. I feel like he does a lot of the other things, rebounds. Uh, not too many assists uh, this game. Spencer actually handles the ball a lot more than I thought. Um, I thought Mikhail would be running a lot more of the point. But, hey, man, you know, I guess he can't do every single thing. He has to focus more on scoring. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, um, obviously, been dishing out assists. And, yeah, man, I think this series <sighs> series going to be tough. I feel like it's going to be a gentleman sweep. Um, I think the Sixers are going to take it in five, uh, but who knows, man? They play again today, so we'll see how the Nets come out. Um, but nonetheless, I don't think anybody can guard Joel Embiid on the Nets. Shout out to uh, Claxton, but I think Embiid is just way too much for um, Claxton. Anybody they try to throw at him, bro. Harden had a great game, 23 points, 13 assists, as you can see right here. The beard is back. Fear the beard. And, um, yeah, I think the 76ers win in seven uh, in five games, bro. I think it's just going to be real easy for them. Next game, we got the Hawks versus the Celtics. Now, this score doesn't do justice. The Hawks were – I mean, the Celtics were blowing out the Hawks by 30 at halftime, I believe it was. Um, wasn't even close, man. Wasn't close at all. Uh Trey Young had a terrible game, terrible game from shooting. I know this says 24, but, you know, he was – look at this percentage, man. It's not that great. Um, DeJounte Murray had a decent game for them. Oh, this is DeJounte Murray. Sorry. Yeah, Trey had a terrible game. See, 5 of 18, 16 points. DeJounte Murray had a better game as far as scoring, but shooting percentage-wise, just off. John Collins – it's like even scoring, but – they were down by 30, you know, so they got to be able to, like, Bogdanovich going to have to at least drop 15. Sadiq going to give 10. Onyeke Okongwu has been great for them, bro. I think he's been averaging at least, like, six to eight points for them. Um, you know, like, everyone else, it's like, eh, but the, the bench has to contribute a lot more than this, you know. Um, to the Celtics, even distributing besides Hal Horford. But, you know, when your starters are just dropping damn near 25 points, man, you don't really need to do that much. Like I said, Robert Williams had 12. Um, and, yeah, man, so I think, honestly, would he be surprised if this is a sweep? Um, but it is hard to win in Atlanta. So this might go gentlemen's as well. But um, I'm thinking sweep, full-on sweep for that one. All right, next game, we have the Knicks versus Cap. Now, this is one of my favorite series and I knew it was going to surprise a lot of people, man. But um, the Knicks are the real deal this year, bro. The Knicks are the real deal this year, okay? Tom Thibodeau is doing a great job distributing the minutes between um, all the players, you guys. Like, look at the minutes between all the players right here. Topman's getting minutes. Hartenstein's getting minutes. Josh Hart's doing great for them. He's getting more minutes than the starters. Grimes, bro. The same... Almost amount of minutes. Oh, he's getting more minutes than RJ Barry. He's finishing the game. You know, quickly he's getting a lot of minutes, bro. Um, and I guess, you know, you don't really need to do much when you got my boy Brunson handling the pressure. Clutch moments. You need a clutch bucket, give it to Brunson. I think Randall's coming off an injury. He still had 19, bro. 
You know, obviously this is just one game, but this in general is a problem for the Cavs because the Cavs don't really have a bench presence in my opinion. Dean Wade, Chetty Osman, Ricky Rubio, Karis Avert might be their best bench player, but he went one of seven. Um, you know, Mitchell obviously at 38. Now, keep in mind, this was a very close game. It could have went either way, but... At the same time, the Cavs were down majority of the game. I think I think until like the late fourth quarter, they made a a run and they actually took the lead. But you know they lost the lead. Josh Hart hit a big three. Um, Josh Hart hit a big three, and then uh, what you call it? Uh, 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 Jalen Brunson just took over, bro. You know, so definitely gonna need some more contribution from Evan Mobley. Um, you know, candidate for Defensive Player of the Year, and you know he has to drop more than eight. A coral, you know, don't expect too much of him. Um, Garland needs to do slightly better, maybe in the assist category. Um, you know, usually he's a, a, a dime dropper, but low key, he's been a liability on defense, man. It's hard for him to guard Brunson, bro. I mean, Chetty Osmond was guarding Brunson towards the end of the game, but Garland is a defensive liability. I ain't gonna lie. Unless he's dropping 25, 30, leave him out there. But other than that, if he's only giving you, you know, 17 is not bad. But if he's giving you less than 20, bro, he's really a defensive liability out there, man. It's, it's tough. You need to be able to play defense. No shot on Darius Garland. I love his game. But in the playoffs, teams will figure you out. A good coach like Tom Thibodeau is going to figure you out. Um, and, yeah. This is probably going to be the best series of the NBA playoffs. Um, first round, at least. The Kings versus the Warriors. Now, I was watching this live, and let me tell you right now, this was the most exciting game I've seen in a playoff setting in a very, very long time, ladies and gentlemen, man. Um, this really gave me Game 7 vibes all around. Um, look at the box score. Just crazy-ass stats, bro. Curry had 30. Clay had 21. DiVincenzo with 10. You know, Draymond doing Draymond things with the rebound and assists. Uh, Looney, you know, contributed. He played really good defense as Sabonis. Sabonis had a tough, tough time um, scoring those little mini hooks or those little layups that he usually does. Um, it was just a tough day for him. Poole did a great, great job. Gary Payne even had eight. Kaminga did great. Wiggins, off of his first game in a very long time, bro. Seven of 16, 17 points. Now, he did miss the game-winning shot, but... This is what the Warriors need, and this is why they had a terrible record on the road for the longest time because of defense. They didn't really have defense, but now that they got GP2 back in there, Andrew Wiggins back in there, Kaminga is a great defensive presence. David Chizzo can guard. I think the Warriors can claw this out, but I am rooting for the Kings in this series. No cap, man. The Kings deserve to move on. Shout out to my boy, Masari, Masel, Marcellus Howard. Wow. Shout out to my boy, Marcellus Howard. Light the mother effing beam, boy. Fox with 38, Trey Lyles with 16, Malik Monk, oh, I miss this dude on the Lakers, bro, with 32, man, 32, 14 free throws, that's crazy, I didn't even know he shot that many free throws, now, Sabonis did have a triple-double, but look at his shooting percentage, man, 5 of 17 is buns, like I said, Looney did a phenomenal job uh, on him, and I think, you know, made it very, very difficult for him to score. But he contributed in a lot of different ways. 16 rebounds, um, two assists. Oh, okay. That was my bad. 16 rebounds, two assists. Um, and, you know, he did his thing, bro. So, tough game. I think they play again tonight. That's going to be super exciting. Definitely locked in for that one. And, um, yeah, man, I'm taking the Kings in seven. Kings in seven. Comment down below who y'all got in that one. All right. Next, we got up my... Lakers, Los Angeles, Lakers. Hey, man, check out my boys, bruh. Check out my boys. We fine in the West, Ja? I don't think so. Dylan Brooks, you want LeBron first round? I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't want these problems, my boy. Anthony Davis, 22 points, 12 rebounds, and the best stat, seven blocks. My boy has seven Blocks, seven, seven blocks. That's ridiculous. 
LeBron James, 21 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists. LeBron did his thing. Three blocks. A lot of chase down. Gave me finals vibes. Uh, Austin Reeves, him, the, the coldest Caucasian in the NBA right now, man. 23 points, 4 assists, 3 rebounds. He was doing his thing. I think he scored the last, I think it was like 9 or 10 points down the stretch for the Lakers. Really doing him. Hachimor, my Japanese brother, 29 points. Six rebounds. This was phenomenal. This was a great, 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 great uh, game for Rui Hachimura. And, you know, the rest of the Lakers contributed. This is this is amazing to see. I know Vanderbilt didn't score, but he's not really there to score. He's there to play defense. Um, there to just play his role, bro. And that's what I love about Vanderbilt. Um, but, you know, this even scoring for the Lakers gets a lot of load off of Lee Goat and, you know, this is what we do, man. I, I, hey, Ja Morant got hurt. I ain't gonna lie, prayers to Ja. Um, but if he does not come back, it is a lot of trouble for the Grizzlies, man. I, I, might even be a sweep, bro, if Ja don't come back, cause that's a tough, tough game for them. Although I give the Grizzlies credit, this they do play. Um, they do play great without Ja. I think their record last year was actually really good without Ja. Um, but this is the playoffs, man. They they gonna need that man. I ain't gonna lie to you. They gonna need him. Um, I think Jaron had a great game yesterday. Dylan Brooks had a great game. Desmond Bain had a good game. It was a great game in general until the end. The box score didn't really say too much about that Laker and Grizzlies game. Next up, we got the Miami Heat versus the Bucks. Jimmy Buckets playoff. Jimmy went crazy. Thirty five points, eleven assists, five rebounds. He did his thing. Um, look at the just look at the scoring across here. Tyler Hero got hurt. Uh, I think he broke his hand, so he's out for the series, sadly, man. Um, but, you know, next man up, that's the mentality. You got Kevin Love, Duncan Robinson, Caleb Martin, Kyle Lowry still. Um, well, I didn't know Victor Oladipo was hurt. Uh, but, you know, they got a decent bench that could fill in that void uh, for Tyler Hero, but that's a big loss. I mean, a lot. He broke his hand in that play. Really didn't look that crazy, you guys. Um, I can't believe he broke his hand off of diving for a loose ball. But, hey, man, it's basketball, bro. You know, it's it's a sport. And random injuries happen all the time, man. So, prayers to Tyler Hero and his family. Um, but, yeah, man, this series is going to be interesting. I think Giannis also got hurt. Uh, and, you know, it's not that severe. But he did hurt his back. So, it says a lot about this series. Two tough injuries to two key opponent um, players to the teams. And, yeah, man, so we're going to see. Bam did his thing. Gabe Vincent actually surprised me. Hit a lot of threes this game, four out of five. Um, but, yeah, man, Jimmy Buckets, Kevin Love. This is just a great game. Caleb Martin did his thing, too. But um, they're going to need a lot out of Middleton. The Bucks going to need a lot out of Middleton. Uh, going to need that all-star Middleton like we've seen in the past few years. Brooke Lopez is going to need to step up. Drew Holiday is going to need to really step up with the point scoring. A lot of these three players right here have to step up with the absence of Giannis Antetokounmpo, you guys. Um, Grace and Allen going to have to hit a couple more threes. It should still be an interesting series. Like I said, the Heat lost Tyler Hero, and the Bucks lost Giannis uh, for a little bit. So we're going to see how the series play out, but I think it's still going to be a nail-biter each and every game. Um, especially in Miami. So we'll see. These are a chance for a reason, man. You know what I'm saying? I think Giannis going to come back maybe game three or four, but they don't want to rush that. They don't want to rush that. All right, next series up, we got the Clippers versus the Suns. Now, I'm sure this was surprising to a lot of people besides Clipper fans, okay? The Clippers take game one. Clippers take game one. Um, Kawhi Leonard had a monster game, 38 points. Russell Westbrook had an ass game, but he contributed in many, many different ways. Getting rebounds, offensive rebounds, getting steals, deflections, just hustling, okay? Hustling to everything. And Eric Gordon had a great game. So glad he's out of Houston, man. You know, the boy got a strap. 7-14 from the field. Zubak did his thing. 15 rebounds, 12 points. Coming off the bench, Terrence Mann, Powell, Bones Highland, Plumlee played great for them. Dude, this Clippers team is deadly, and they don't even have Paul George. What I love about this Clippers team, man, they play team defense, bro. They all play together, and they all play hard, and that's what you need during the playoffs, man. You just need your team to lock in um, and play 
team defense, bro. Team defense is going to win. Like I said, it's not looking that great for the Suns, even though it's one game. I think the problem with this game, though, was that they don't know who to give the ball to towards the end of the game. If you watch towards the end of the game, Booker and Chris Paul were trying to make the big shot towards the end of the game. You got Kevin mother effing Durant, bro. Give Kevin Durant the ball. 7 to 15 from the field, 27 points. Your leading scorer, basically. Nine rebounds, 11 assists. Damn near had a triple double. Give him the ball down the stretch. No cap. They need to give Kevin Durant the ball. Let him do his thing. He is Kevin Durant for a reason. And, yeah, man, even Kevin or Booker, but still, I'm still giving to Kevin, man. More experience. He's won a ring, multiple rings. He's six foot, a, a 10, 11, and he's a bucket. So give him the ball, please. Stop. Uh, no offense to Chris Paul. I love Chris Paul's game, but he he needs to just give the rock up. I ain't going to lie. This series might go to seven, man. This series might go to seven. Last game, this game was terrible for the Timberwolves. I don't know what happened. Um, like I said, they played a good game the first game, uh, first quarter, and then they kind of just went south. The Nuggets was too much for them. Um, you could tell the box score, just low scoring, not that much. They only scored 80 as a team, you guys. That's pretty low. Uh, that's pretty disastrous, actually. Look at the Nuggets all around scoring. Jokic didn't even need to do a lot of scoring, but, you know, he had a lot of rebounds, assists, as always. Michael Porter did his thing. Jamal Murray, I think, had the best game, even though he shot terrible. But, you know, he still made buckets. And, yeah. I love Bruce Bound from them. I, I guess the Nets were using him wrong because he can actually shoot uh, and score. <laughs> I think when he was on the uh, the Nets, he really was just, like, the role player. Um, but, man, he could get a bucket out there. But even scoring, as always, from the Nuggets – and, yeah, I think this series might get might go to five. Might go to five. But that's going to do it for the playoff recap, man. Comment down below what you guys think of each and every series. Comment down below your favorite team, if they're in the playoffs or they're not. Just comment down below who you're supporting. On that, man, be sure to go subscribe to the channel. I'm out this day. Peace.